Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get Mobile Me for free. Now, this video is not showing you guys how to hack Apple.com and give yourself a free Mobile Me account or anything like that. So if you were expecting that, um, just keep watching because I guarantee you that this will be better. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple of online tools uh, that you probably already use that when you combine them together equal all the features that MobileMe gives you uh, minus the Find My iPhone feature. Um, so I'm going to be going over contacts, uh, email, uh, calendars, iDisk, and then I'm going to be showing you guys how you can all sync that to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, so let's get right on into this, guys. Guys, so the first feature is email. I'm showing you guys how to uh, get an online email account um, that will give you the features that MobileMe gives you. Uh, so you guys are gonna want to go uh, create a Google account, and yes, our dear friend Google, Google, which has helped us with homework so many times. Um, you guys will want to create a Google account. If you don't have one, uh, there will be a link in the sidebar to have one. Um, and if you do have one, um, kudos to you. Uh, so I'm just going to log in to my Google account. So, once you create a Google account, they will give you this amazing feature called Gmail, which stands for Google Mail, and basically it's just like MobileMe's email, um, except the suffix to your email is going to be at, at gmail.com. Uh, so that's the first step, guys. That is email. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is contacts. So you guys are going to want to go into your address book. and as you guys know, you guys can sync up address book with your iPhone. So if you want to do that, go right ahead, go sync it up, get all of your contacts from your iPhone or wherever you have them into um, address book. Uh, once they're in address book, you can go to file, export, export group V card. So you're going to want to export your V cards um, and it doesn't take any time at all. And then we're going to go back to our Google account. And in this little side panel right here, there's a thing that says contacts. You're going to want to click that. And then right here um, on the upper right hand corner of this box, there's a thing that says import. You're going to want to click that. Click browse. Um, select your V cards file. Click open. Click import. And in a few seconds, there you guys have all of your contacts in there. So that is the second feature of um, MobileMe contacts. Alright guys, so the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys is Calendar. And yes, Calendar, ooh, how I love the MobileMe uh, calendar system. But, this is better. Uh, so, as you guys can see, I already added a few dates. So you guys can just click Calendar and start adding dates right away. That's all you guys need to do. And once you guys do that, you guys want to go into iCal. And then from iCal, you want to go to Preferences, which is Command, Comma. Uh, then you want to go to the Accounts tab, click the little plus sign, and add your Gmail account. So there you go guys, right there. Um, now all the uh, dates that you guys have are added in there, and that is calendars. Alright guys, so the next feature I'm going to be showing you guys is iDisk. Um, now, Google does not give you any sort of online storage, however, Dropbox does. And then for those of you who don't know what Dropbox is, Dropbox is pretty much iDisk. Um, it's this sort of online, yet on your computer sort of file sharing system, and basically if you download Dropbox to a bunch of different computers, you can share files easily between computers. Um, it's pretty cool. I guess it's kind of like an online file hosting site almost. Um, for, the, for those of you guys who want a better explanation, because I know I'm really not explaining this well, um, if you go to dropbox.com they have a little video that you can watch. Um, when you sign up with Dropbox they give you uh, two gigabytes free um, just like uh, MobileMe does. Um, you can always pay for more storage but actually I'm going to have a link in the right uh, I'm sorry, it's not longer on the right. I'm going to have a link below. If you use that link to sign up for Dropbox, you'll get an extra 250 megabytes. Yeah, you get an extra 250 megabytes added to your Dropbox uh, free. So make sure to use that link uh, down below, guys. 
So once you guys have installed Dropbox, and they actually have an iPhone app too, that which is also free, um, so you guys can go ahead and install that on your iPhone or iPod Touch, and that makes things a whole lot easier. But once you've installed it for your Mac, you're going to want to go into Finder. Actually, I think um, actually Dropbox works for PC too, uh, and Linux. Multi-platform. Awesome. Uh, so once you install Dropbox, you guys will have a folder that has Dropbox. You guys can click that. Anything you put into this little public folder right here, um, that is going to get uploaded to their server. Um, they'll even give you certain links for stuff, like if I go to Dropbox, um, or if I click on an actual file in here, Dropbox gives me a public link that I can, if I want to share a file or something like that, or anything. Um, but, uh... Basically, this your Dropbox updates universally. So as I said, if I were to go to my MacBook right now and go into uh, my Dropbox account on my computer, or I guess go go to my Dropbox folder on my computer, I would see all this stuff in there too. So Dropbox is very useful. Uh, same thing as iDisk, and I'm actually going to give you guys a link that gets you more space than what iDisk gives you. So that is iDisk. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to sync it all together, um, get everything that I just showed you onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, for the lack of a better camera that records my iPod Touch, I'm not actually going to um, show you guys on my iPod how to do it, but instead I'm going to have wonderful pictures appear that will uh, show you guys how to do it, as well as I'm going to explain it too. So, first thing you want to do is you guys want to go to the settings application on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Then you guys are going to want to click on Mail, Contacts, and Calendar. You guys are going to want to click on Add Account. And then you guys are going to want to click Microsoft Exchange. Yes, I did say Microsoft Exchange. I do realize that there is a thing that says Google and Gmail, and that is going to be the email we're adding, but do not click that. Click Microsoft Exchange, and I will explain that in a little while why you guys want to do that. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to um, enter in your username and password, that's your uh, Gmail account. Um, you guys want to leave domain blank. And if you guys put in your username and password, you guys want to click Next. Now, once you click Next, a message should appear that says Unable to Verify certif uh, Certificate. Um, you guys want to click Cancel. Click Cancel to that message, and then a new field is going to appear, and in that field, it's going to say Server. In that server, put m.google.com. And then you're going to want to click Next at the uh, top of your screen. Um, then it's going to bring you to a little, like, another... It's going to bring you guys to somewhere else. Uh, the picture's up there. Um, and basically, it's going to say, uh, select the info you want to synchronize using Exchange. Uh, make sure you have Mail, Contacts, and Calendar all on. If you get a thing that says, like, would you like to... Um, what would you like to do with, like, the existing local contacts or existing local dates or mail or anything like that, um, all you want to do is you guys want to click delete. You guys want to delete the existing and replace it with all the new stuff. And then it's going to add all the new stuff to your iPhone. And then the last thing you want to do is go to m.google.com slash sync on your iPhone or iPod Touch and log in. Uh, you should see your device on there. I'm going to select your device. And then you guys are going to select uh, which calendars you want to sync. Um, you guys should select all calendars, I think. Uh, then you guys are going to want to click Save. And in a few minutes, everything will be synced to your iPhone. And there you go. Then you will have all the functionality of MobileMe. All right, guys. That was it. That was the video. I just showed you guys how to get MobileMe for free. Um, all the links will be in the uh, description, the down bar now. Um, also guys, make sure to stay till after this clip, because I'm going to have a couple of interesting videos play, um, or video links, something like that. You guys will watch it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. My name is Matt Fisher, twitter.com slash Fisher12 if you guys feel like stalking me, and take care. Hello.